Hey everybody, it's Courtney here, and I am participating in my very first YouTube hop. So, um, this is my video for it. Now, um, Lamar is actually sponsoring this one and hosting it, and she is giving away a Cricut cartridge. And to be eligible to win this Cricut cartridge, you need to make sure you comment on everybody's video that's in this hop. Um, I'll have everybody listed in order. I'm actually the very last person on this list. So once you've seen me, um, just make sure you've seen everybody else and make sure that you leave a comment on everybody's video. And um, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to your fellow um, crafter. So um, my technique is kind of a combination of a Tim Holtz flower and a Prima flower. And um, this is supposed to be a unique technique and yeah everybody's seen probably 100 million bazillion videos of the Tim Holtz flower so I love the Tim Holtz flower and I also love the Prima flower but I wanted something really girly for this one tag swap that I was doing so I kind of just combined the two and added my own little twist on it and you can see these two flowers that I actually already have done um these are both made out of the exact same cuts the only difference is one has curled edges and one doesn't. So you're going to get two flowers out of this technique. So first off, let me say that um, you want to start off with four of uh, six petal flowers. I use my Cricut cutter and I use Plant and School Book and I just cut out um, the flower and the shadow. And I like this one because it gives me the little dot in the center and so I just go right on in and cut straight up to that whenever I do all of my cuts so that kind of helps me out a little bit so like I said you want to start off with four three and four and these are plain and these are exactly what I use to make these this is pink paper and what I did with these was on my plain sheets I turned around and I stamped it with the Tim Holtz um, script stamp that I have and then I went in and inked all of my edges so once I've done that they look like these now actually what I did was I stamped it all inked all my edges and then I came over it with um, glossy accents and you can use glossy accents or Mod po Mod Podge or any type of medium that you like but you just want to make sure it's pretty thin just so it gives it that pretty um, shine to it and it actually is a little bit sturdier to work with so it's a little bit thicker type material once you start to cut it and piece it together so let me move these out of the way this is your first cut that you're gonna have this is exactly the same way as it was I've just altered it and you want to leave that one that way now with the Tim Holtz you only have three that you use this one I'm using four so you've got your base and then your next one, you're going to cut a slit, just like that, just like the Tim Holtz. You're going to cut that slit. And then the next one, you are going to cut out only one little petal. Now, depending upon what flower dye you have, you may want to um, look at yours. This one actually, can't really tell if you look at it this way. These petals do not match up exactly. So if you're a perfectionist, you might want to kind of pay attention to which petal you cut out and which petal you don't cut out. Um, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. It does leave, like when you go to overlap, it will sometimes leave a little bit showing. So you can barely see it down in there in the crease. Um, so if that's going to bother you, just make sure that you line those up the way that you prefer. So. You've got that one, that's with one cutout. And then you've got this one with the two cutout, kind of looks like a little butterfly. And then once you cut those out, you'll have the two pieces left over. You want to keep these just like the Tim Holtz. And so you're going to turn around and piece these together. This bottom one stays exactly like it is. Now, depending upon which flower you're going to make, this one you don't really do anything with the bottom and then this one you just curl it under just a little bit 
So depending upon which one you, you're going to make, you want to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I made this one. I love this. I've made several projects where I put both of these on the same project, and I think they just complement each other pretty well. Um, they look completely different when they're next to each other. So I'm going to show you how to do that one. So you leave this one flat. You're going to stick that down. Now this one, where you've got your slit, of course you just want to glue that. You can use any type of glue that you want. Um, so I'm going to show you how to just throw a little bit of glue on there. And you just want to make sure you get it in there stuck pretty nice. I'm just using tacky glue from Joann's. It's kind of my go-to glue. And I'm using such a little amount that it's pretty dry by the time I get back to that piece. So that was the one slit. And now this is the one with the one petal cut out. And I'm just going to go in and do the same thing on it. And place those two together. Sorry, guys. Okay. And lay those there. And the one that looks like a butterfly, do the same thing. Now you want to make sure that whichever side you made shiny. Now you don't have to do the glossy accents or the median or whatever. Um, you don't have to do any of the stamping or anything like that. You can do it plain. They look pretty regardless. Um, but if you do add the shine to it, you just want to make sure that that side is the side that's facing up. Okay. And then you'll take these and just roll these how you typically would. It's all on personal preference on that one. You'll glue it. Okay. And then sometimes I add the one and then sometimes I don't. But if you do want to add it, you just go ahead and roll that one in. And you glue it as well. You want to make sure it's a little bit tighter so that it'll fit in on that last one. Okay. And then I go ahead and stick it inside of it. And make sure it's good and tight in there. And then I take my scissors and I clip off just a little bit of it down here at the bottom so that it fits in better. Sorry guys, I'm using my daughter's uh, school scissors. She's kind of taken off with all of mine. So then it'll look like that. Okay. Then I'm using hot glue for this um, because it just dries quicker. And if you use the hot glue, I suggest that you use it on high heat so that it will actually stay. And as you add a layer, it doesn't melt it. Okay. So I'm a little dot to that. It's just right there in the center. And then I'm going to take my next one. And you position it however you want yours. So I usually take my seam to where it's kind of down at the bottom. Okay. So there's that one. Now the only difference, like I said, between this one and the other one is that my edges are rolled on the other one. So before you glue it down, you just want to roll your edges, whichever, um, however you would like roll them down and then you take your next one this is the one bottom one has no cuts second one has the slit this one had the one petal cut out and then your next layer is the one that has the two cut out okay stick that in and you can reposition them while they're still warm. Okay. And then that bottom one needs to go. Sorry, guys. Knocked over my camera. And then that bottom one. And then you just clean it up. Get that glue off there. And there it is. And like I said, you can center it around to where your petals are all different. You've got a couple of seconds to, about a minute probably to work with it while it's still good and wet. So make sure you check out everybody else's um, 
videos and check out all their different techniques that they're doing and make sure you leave a video on everybody so thanks for checking out my video and i hope it was okay it was my first time doing a technique and my first time doing a um blog or youtube pop i keep wanting to say blog pop sorry guys so there you go thanks for checking me out have a good one